like to call the House Transportation Subcommittee to order. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. Representatives Boyd, Grills, Here. Hall, Hicks of Washington, Here. Howell, Here. Potts, Russell, Towns, Here. Chairman Whitson. Here. Chairman, you have a quorum. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Before we get started on our agenda today, uh, anybody have any personal orders? Seeing none, okay, we'll move to our first item. Today, uh, we have Deputy Speaker Curtis Johnson. You're up first, sir. You're recognized. We have a motion and a second. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, House Bill 867 addresses registration of vehicles, or well, not registration, uh, being able to apply a lien to a vehicle. During the pandemic, the Secretary of State, Department of Revenue, and the Governor got together so dealers of vehicles, cars and trucks, could uh, get a lien on a vehicle before they actually got the title or the MSO. Now, this does not preclude or does not mean that it does not have to go through the county court clerk but it would give them up to 180 days to to, uh, to do this. So that's what this bill does. Thank you, sir. It, do we have any questions on the bill? No. Okay, question's been called. Without objection, we're going to vote on House Bill 867. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Moves on to full committee, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Committee? Next up, we have the gentleman from Madison County, Representative Todd. You're recognized on House Bill 1387. Motion. We have a motion and a second. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and committee. What this bill does, it grants the residents of this state who are an active, retired, or honorably discharged member of the United States Army Ranger Unit or graduates of the United States Army Ranger School be issued United States Army Ranger license plate. The license plates are to feature a likeness of a Ranger tab authorized by the U.S. Army and bear the legend U.S. Army Ranger. Now, I, I, understanding that I can, at this point, I wanted to just uh, present this, and, and I'm going to roll it, would like to uh, ask the committee to roll it into the omnibus bill. First, we were instructed that we needed to run a separate bill, so that's what I did. I'm very glad to do that uh, for those that have served, and so I just wanted to... I think that I'm glad you had the opportunity to present this and tell us about it. Um, they, those soldiers are the top soldiers in the Army, and um, um, and do we have a motion to roll or to roll this? We have a motion without objection, approved. It'd be rolled, and and we'll make sure it gets on the uh, on the this bus bill. Thank you, for thank, you committee. thank you, thank <laughs> you. Okay, next up, yo, without. Do you need a motion to take it off? Okay, without objection, we're taking it off notice. So. Thank you there, Attorney. Okay, we're on item number three. Uh, uh, Chairman Powers, you are recognized. Do we have a motion and a second? We have a motion and a second. And before we get started, I see we have an amendment. Uh, what we do. number do you have with that, sir? Uh, the amendment number is 4647. That's what That's I right? have. Okay. Uh, without a, do we have a motion and a second? Yep. Have a motion and a second to put the amendment on the bill. Mr. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, committee. Uh, first, I'll go on, on the amendment. The amendment just uh, is limiting the bill to the Rome State Community College service area, so the bill would not have a statewide application to it. Okay. Do we have any questions on the amendment? We need to vote to put the amendment on the bill. All in favor of putting amendment 4647 on House Bill 540, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Amendment goes on the bill. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, House Bill 540, it removes the minimum enrollment requirement of a thousand students. Right now you have to have a thousand students or more to be considered for uh, interchange signage for a community college. That requirement is not on TCAT, only on t community colleges. So this puts the community colleges on the same level playing field 
with the TCATs, which have no minimum requirement. And we're proud of our TCATs, we're proud of our community college, and we'd love to have the signage up to where we can identify them because they're growing and Tennessee Promise and the state of Tennessee is growing with it. We want to let everybody know where they are. I think that's a good bill, Chairman. Uh, do we you. have any questions or comments on the bill? Questions, questions been called. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, the question's been called. Uh, we are now voting on House Bill 540. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Ayes have it. Goes on to full transportation. Thank All you, right. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Committee. Okay, next up, we have item number four from the distinguished gentleman from Rome and Loudoun County, Representative Calpe. You, you're recognized. Motion. Second. We have a motion and second. I'm Mr. Chairman Ellis. I have a great bill <coughs> that was brought to me by a constituent who's a 93-year-old World War II veteran. And because the DD whatever didn't exist when he was discharged it was nav per 660 and the current law says that it has to be the ddd form and he can't get a veteran status put on his license plate so this is brought to me by one guy and i'm sure it affects many across the state uh, thank you and i think it's a good bill uh, the bill he's referring to is dd 214 and during world war ii there was no department of defense of which what the dd stands for uh, do we have any questions or comments on the bill no okay no question has been called okay we're voting now on house bill 346 by representative kathy all in favor say aye, aye. opposed aye. ayes have it moves on to full transportation sir thank Next up, we have item number five from Representative Gillespie. Motion. We have a motion and a second. Representative, you're recognized. And I show that we have an amendment on this bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, the uh, amendment number is 5139. Yes, sir, that's what I have. Uh, let's, do we have a motion and a second to put the amendment? We have a motion and a second. All in favor of putting amendment 5139 on the bill, say aye. Opposed? Amendment goes on the bill. Please explain the amendment in the bill, sir. So basically the amendment simply requires uh, any business, firm, or entity engaged in buying or selling unattached catalytic converter parts. Uh, that's the small part in a car engine that's got very valuable uh, metals in it um, to notify local law enforcement, their sheriff or police uh, chief, um, notifying them basically that they are selling that part and it creates a registry and it's the intent is to prevent crime from happening in the stealing of those parts. <coughs> Excuse me, and stealing of those parts. So, pretty. Okay, uh, Representative Towns, you're recognized. Chairman, thank you. Some years ago, I had a bill that dealt with this. This is obviously this is a good bill, and they were fencing this stuff quite a bit. One of my neighbors, over a period of time, <coughs> went out to crank his car. This is recent. Probably four or five weeks ago. Couldn't crank his car. He's going to work. He wanted to know what the devil was going on. He looked up under his car, it was gone. The catalytic converter. That's exactly right. And we may even need to go further at some point because you could actually require them to present a receipt if they're going to sell it to some of these places that sell this stuff to show that they bought this car and where it came from. This is a really big problem. It costs money to really do it, really replace it, you know. So I'd like to sign on to it. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thank you. Representative Grills, you're recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Representative Gillespie, I have a, my sister lives in Arkansas and uh, they pastor a church and in their security cameras, they had a guy walk through with a, with a uh, die grinder in his hand. He walks through, he walks back through 43 seconds later that they, he had just cut the Cadillac converter out from under their church van. It took 43 seconds from the time he went through the frame until the time he come back through the frame with a converter in his hand. So this is a problem, not just here in Tennessee, but all over the country. So obviously the effort that you're putting forth is appreciated by many. Thank you. Be interesting to know how much it costs to replace that too. I understand it's quite expensive. Without a doubt. Any other questions or comments on the bill? Representative Boyd. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman Rep Boyd, excuse me. Representative Gillespie, is this your first bill uh, that you grant? 
uh, just before this committee, but not in general. All right. Uh, well, uh, it's a good bill, uh, and and as you mentioned a moment ago, you wondered how much it cost. It's my understanding you make a couple hundred dollars if you steal it, but it may cost upwards of fifteen hundred to put a replacement on. So, uh, this is a terrible crime. It's a great bill, and I appreciate you working with the. I know the scrap dealers had some questions. You you put an amendment together, and I appreciate your willingness to work on that. Thanks. Thank you. Good comments, Chairman. Thank you. And uh, I thought when the with the uh, emission testing we hope that it goes away, that this requirement or, or this the theft will go away, but apparently it's more to it than uh, we thought just that. Okay, any other questions or comments? Okay, question's been called. We're now voting on House Bill 1155. Representative Gillespie, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. It is going on to full transportation. Thank you. Okay, uh, House Item number six has been taken off notice, and that completes our calendar for today. Do I have a motion to adjourn? We are adjourned.